time for Quiz the Quay Live, State of the Town edition. Let's welcome your host, Bill Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. And welcome to Quiz the Quay, the game show that celebrates Fuquay Varina, one of the top 10 safest cities in North Carolina, according to SafeWise and the National Council for Home Safety and Security. Now let's meet today's guest, Kevin. We found Kevin house shopping, making him one of the 5.4 people who move into our town each and every day. I, I haven't officially decided. And as always, I want to remind our audience watching at home to interact with us live via Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms. Now what do you say we play Quiz the Way? I didn't know to join you. Let's go to the screen for our very first question. A longtime goal of the Fuquay Varina Town Board. What will be opening this August? I don't know. Another mattress store? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The correct answer is the new Willow Spring High School. Let's go to the screen for our next question. What was the deal with road improvements last year? How am I supposed to answer this? <laughs> oh, not in time. The answer we wanted to hear was the Judd Main intersection was completed, surviving the Great Railroad Crossing closing of fall 2018, funded by bonds and grants. We also would have accepted, intersection of Maine Sunset Purfoy was completed in April of 2018 through bond funding. Or, the town began construction on the final leg of Judd Parkway. All correct answers. Our next question is similar. What's going to happen with road improvements this year? To answer, I, I need a more specific... Oh, you should have used your Twitter reach out, Kevin. They had the correct answer. I didn't know I had the option. At FB Bingles Fan 1996 gave the correct response. Design of Old Honeycutt and Purfoy Road intersection began in 2018, and construction will take place at the end of this year, opening in mid-2020. A LAP grant of $913,875 will help fund the project. And we're going to have to take our first break. Youth Sports. Since the program began in 2013, more than 25,000 kids have participated, giving them the opportunity to try new sports, learn sporting fundamentals, and have fun. 25,000, that's like the entire population of Fuquay. Are you telling me that the entire population of Fuquay is now children? Oh yeah, 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 as of 2019, that, that's what it is. Lord of the Flies situation. Yeah. And we're back. Kevin's not off to a very stellar start so far. Let's see if he can turn it around this round. They just brought me in here so fast. I, Let's I, move along to our next question. In the category of parks and quality of life, which of these statements is true? A, the $5 million renovations on Fleming Loop Park are expected to open this year. B, Council Jim got a major facelift. C, the town's first outdoor basketball court opened for action in 2018. And D, and I'd give you extra points for this if I could, the design of Willow Lakes Park near South Lakes Elementary School was completed. That's a lot of info. Um, I don't know, A? I'm sorry. The correct answer was E. What? All of the above. That oh, wasn't one of the ops. And it's time for everybody's favorite round, Fact, Fact or Fiction. Fiction. All right, Kevin, you have two paddles next to you. In this round, simply lift the paddle with the correct answer. Fuquay Varina owns and maintains all the roads in and around town. Fact or Fiction. Wait, which, which paddles? You have to answer one way or the other. The correct answer is fiction. Fuquay Varina owns only 116 miles of the area roads, while NCDOT maintains the rest. Here with our next fact or fiction question is renowned actor Ira David Wood III. Hello, Fuquay Varina. Fact or fiction? After a two-year expansion project, 
Terrible Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant is operational. The $34 million project expands treatment capacity from one to three million gallons per day. No, that's true. True. They both say F. With the next question, former NFL player and NC State alum, Tori Holt. Developers are evil, fact or fiction? Oh no, sorry, Kevin. The answer is fiction. Developers have been a big partner with the town over the past five years, investing more than $31 million to build roads and $13 million to build water and sewer infrastructure. And we'll be right back after another short break. In 2018, Fuquay Verena High School won three state championships, and their hometown was very proud of them, and even placed signs at our town limits. Also, the Fuquay Verena High School class of 2019 began their senior year in August. They will be the last graduating class from the current facility. Go Bengals! We're back, and that means it's time to check in on our social media interaction. It looks like at librarians are the best made a meme of Kevin in the new library on Judd Parkway, which more than doubles the facility size, expected to open in 2019. Next, we have a tweet from at Southern Hospitality 2019. Arrest Kevin oh, come on. and send him to the new police station that will be located at the corner of Judd Parkway and Old Honeycutt once renovations at the new town hall are complete at Bob Barker's former headquarters building downtown. <laughs> Social media is not liking you, Kevin. Let's go to our Facebook Live video questions, starting with the Fuquay Verena memes lady. What opportunities are available for a business owner or a meme owner such as myself. Oh, well, I had heard that the site certification process began for the new 30-acre Fuquay Verena Business Park, and the land should be cleared for marking this year, allowing the town to recruit new advanced manufacturing firms to the community. <laughs> oh, so close. Everything was right, except it's a 35-acre Fuquay Verena Business Park. 30 Five acres. Now to our next question from Jacob Slavin. Has land been identified for a mixed use development project in downtown? And will these plans make it more of a reality to live, work, and play in downtown? I don't know. Yes. Um, correct. Well, look at Mr. Smarty Pants. I guess you also know that the town's economic strategy has been instrumental in facilitating the expansion of several medical offices in Fuquay, Verena. No. Or that in 2018, the town issued the most commercial permits it has done in the last three years. In other words, we have made an influx of both commercial and residential construction. The enhanced commercial is helping to provide jobs and service the needs and demands of a growing population. I, I didn't know. Well, before Kevin decided to make it all about him, we were going to showcase our new art center. Oh well, we were just trying to share a little bit of good news about our town, not turn this into a big deal about our little contestant. That's it. Just shut it down. Cut it. That's it. This place is interesting. Where'd my coffee go? 